Hey guys, it's Stag here and I am back with a brand new Call of Duty video. Now I haven't made a class setup since I think Ghost, but I'm back now as Black Ops is absolutely fantastic, so let's get on with this class setup. Now with this game I think this is a fantastic game and so much easier than the last one and very similar to Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. And so for those people who are just getting the game, you're going to be starting off with the first weapons that you have already unlocked. Now the first one is the submachine gun called the CUDA. This weapon is absolutely fantastic and when you unlock it you want to put on the silencer. Now they have been buffed. Silencers were originally horrendous on all weapons but now they've improved them. They are a lot better and you can kill people on distance quite easily. Now the second weapon you want is the foregrip. You don't really need it if you're going to concentrate on close quarters but if you are looking at taking people down on range then it is definitely required because it does have a bit of recall over distance. Now you can just use the normal iron sight on the weapon, I don't mind it, but then I started using the red dot, I thought that was very good, and then now I've finally converted to the elo sight, which is the final sight you unlock, which is by far the most impressive and best sight in the game. Now for the secondary that I'm running, I'm obviously going to run the combat knife, only because if I'm playing completely solo without teammates, then they're generally going to be people in the game that carry around the rocket launchers and I also have a friend that I play with that takes a rocket launcher and he can shoot down the opponent's UAVs. Every so often you will suffer for it but due to this most of the time you don't really have to run ghost on this game. A lot of people do like shooting down the kill streaks and score streaks. So what you can run instead is the combat knife which is obviously a one hit kill melee. It's absolutely insane and there's not really much lunge but it's a lot better than in any of the other games I feel like I can actually get score streaks just using the knife and actually running around and using the knee slide at people so obviously that's going to be the second the tactical is obviously going to be a concussion or a flashbang you can take the trophy system if you're going to be camping in a certain area the lethal you want to take is completely up to you. I take the Tomahawk just because it's fun to use and I'm not the best with normal grenades. I don't mind the Semtexes if I'm playing something like Hardpoint or Domination where there's an objective that to defend. But if it's just normal team deathmatch I'll take the Tomahawk because I'll try to throw it at the snipers when I'm at a distance. Now the first perk you want to take is Sixth Sense. As I said before, if you don't feel like you're going to get away with it you can run Ghost or you can get rid of the tactical and the secondary to have the second perk for ghost but if you have six sense there isn't anyone going to be creeping up on you it is so OP and probably the best perk but the most overpowered by far and it will drive you mad if you get in a game where all the opponents are using it because whether you're above or below you can see what direction they're going to be coming at you from now the second perk you're going to be running is hardwired. This makes you immune to the counter UAVs and it seems like everyone has them so this perk is really necessary. If you don't run scavenger this is the perk you want. So the power cord, the power cord which is the EMP blast, the EMP grenades don't affect you and the smoke screen I don't think that affects you that much anyway. You don't trigger the trip mines and shock charges which is an amazing one because a lot of snipers and campers tend to use them on this game. The C4 alarm doesn't go off if you're playing search and destroy and also it reduces your digital imprint when the other teams have the tracker which they will find you everywhere with that. But it, this also slightly reduces the sixth sense perk so they won't be able to see you coming from as far whereas your red indicator will be going mad. Now in the third perk it's completely up to you what you want to take in awareness or dead silence. If you have a good headset then you don't really need awareness as most of you will already know but, the, but my headset's broken and at the moment I have to use the awareness just so I can hear which direction they're coming from. But by far if you can afford to lose two, per, uh, two items on this setup maybe get rid of the red dot, the tactical if you have both of them you are practically invincible on this game dead silence awareness and sixth sense is an absolutely ridiculous combination and in games like TD it is actually unfair to use also when it comes to the kill streaks and score streaks on this game I don't generally run the high ones every so often I will throw in the wraps and 
they they do normally go insane and you get guaranteed normally about six to ten kills but sometimes the wraith and raps will just cause people to instantly rage quit from the game and it drives me mad so normally i only run uav counter uav and then i'll have one kill streak which will go for kills which is normally either going to be the raps i don't run wraith because for some reason every game i'm in when we get a wraith the enemy team rage quit so the third per the third score streak is sometimes lightning strike if i'm on a small map like nuketown but if I'm on a bigger map, then I will go for the wraps. But one of the score streaks to definitely look at will be the sentry gun. On this game, it is absolutely insane. If you take that, it's not the hardest score streak to get. But if you have the UAV and counter UAV, just hold off until you're fairly close to your sentry gun. Then call them both in, and the assists alone should push you up to get your sentry gun. And if you're on Nuketown, if you know where the B domination point is, simply drop your sentry gun on that point no matter what game mode on nuketown and it goes absolutely insane and it can get you up to 10 15 kills quite easily so that is definitely a score streak i'd recommend running with this setup so this is my first video on call of duty black ops 3 i hope you enjoyed it guys please give it a thumbs if you did and also subscribe if you're new i will be posting more black ops 3 setups but if there's any you would like to see, make sure you leave it in the comments and I will get onto that weapon as soon as I can.